It takes hard work, dedication, and strength to be of service to a community, but that's not too much for a special young lady who's inspired hundreds of thousands of people within her hometown and beyond by never giving up. Abigail Arias is a seven-year-old with big dreams and aspirations. Since she could remember, she's always wanted to grow up to be a police officer. Abigail was di diagnosed in 2017 with a rare type of pediatric cancer known as Wilms tumor, and it spread into her lungs. But that hasn't stopped her from following her dreams. Earlier this year, she was sworn in as an honorary police officer in her hometown of Freeport, Texas. And today, the Arias family visited one of the largest canine training facilities in the U.S. right here in East Alabama. The Arias family toured the Vaporwake Canine Facility and met canine handlers and trainers in addition to several of the dogs that are being trained at the facility. Abigail shares why she loves being a police officer and being of service to her community. They fight the bad guys. And what are the bad guys? The um, cancer and they, and they help others and they, and they, and they, um, and they, and they be kind to others when others need help. Abigail's father, Reuben Arias, says that when the cancer was first discovered, it was stage four. His daughter went through eight months of chemotherapy and radiation, in addition to having her left kidney removed. After more than 90 rounds of chemotherapy, the Arias family believed that Abigail was in remission until she went into her second quarterly scan. And Reuben says, unfortunately, they weren't so lucky with those results. They had came back and they metastasized in, in both of her lungs. She went back into uh, treatment uh, for another eight months where she underwent another 90 plus rounds of chemo. It's like 180, 283 rounds of chemo she did over in two years. And uh, unfortunately, in uh, November of uh, 2018, after going through all that, uh, we were told that the, uh, the chemo didn't work and for us to basically go home and enjoy life. Although this has been life-changing for the Arias family, they're still determined to enjoy every day they spend together. That's the journey we're on. Um, we don't know what tomorrow holds, but we embrace and we love every day. Every day we wake up in the morning, she's here, we're happy. It's a great day for us. And we're going to continue to live that way and we're going to enjoy, uh, enjoy life. Definitely puts a... Uh, gives you a different perspective. You know, you hear all the time, oh, it's life changing, it's life changing. No, this, this is life changing. Uh, and for anybody that, that's, that any family member, any child that has battled pediatric cancer, they understand. Freeport Police Chief Raymond Garvey also travel with the Arias family to the canine training facility today. Chief Garavi recalls the moment he first met Abigail and how she immediately changed his life. She walked in the door. She's beautiful. She didn't have any, she didn't have any hair. She's gorgeous. My family, not just my my family, but my Freeport family. We got to meet her and her whole entire family. They're all God sent, all of them. And uh, we became family and friends. And Chief Garavi came up with the idea of swearing Abigail in as an honorary police officer and now believes this was one of the best decisions he's ever made. Just a little girl that's, that's terminal and full of life, handing out candies and stuffed animals and toys to kids in our neighborhoods. I mean, I use the word terminal and this little girl's helping others. And I just happened, she inspired me and I asked her, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? And she said, I'm gonna be a police officer. Of course, we threw dad in the back seat. So I told him, you know, and I looked back at him basically and I said, she probably should have never told me that. We put it together, invited the public, invited law enforcement. We had folks here from the Texas Rangers office that had showed up, I think somebody from the FBI. Uh, it was beautiful, cops from all over the state. And it was a, the most beautiful ceremony you'd ever seen. And uh, I got a little emotional. And uh, you know, when the last part of swearing her in was, you know, to continue fighting the bad guys, which she refers to the cancer inside of her until all of her cancer is gone. 
and we had no clue the, the, the video went viral. During today's visit, Abigail and her brother Ethan both received certificates for completing the training courses and vapor weight gear to take home with them. The facility also announced that they will be naming a canine puppy after Abigail in her honor.